Yo, what is up everybody? It is Chimse here, back again with another League of Legends gameplay commentary. Playing that Proxy Singed, of course, today. Up against the Vladimir. <sighs> Been climbing quite a bit recently, and I think I'm on a six win streak with Singed right now. And three of those wins were uh, Flash Teleport Vladimir, so... <laughs> Signs of a new Vlad, okay? There's four signs of a new Vlad when you're going up against a Singed, okay? First sign. Picked Vlad after you pick Singed. That means he's trying to counter pick you. Has no idea what he's doing, most likely. Second, you look at the loading screen. If he has Flash Teleport, that's two points. Teleport's a horrible summoner spell on Vlad. Against Singed, if he takes Flash Ignite or Ghost Ignite, you're in trouble. Third is his starting items. If he starts Amptome and one potion, that's another point. That is a horrible stun on Vladimir, no matter who you're up against. Um, against Singed, you want to go boots for pots on Vladimir. Very good, and chase you down a bit early on. And then finally, fourth point is what item he rushes. If he rushes Hextech Revolver, four points. Uh, <laughs> Hextech Revolver rush is decent sometimes um, against certain champions, but not against Singed. Um, this is what Johnny Holmes says about this. Uh, I've personally never met a good Vladimir against, uh, playing against me as Sin, so I wouldn't know. But apparently, what he should, what Vladimir should do is he should go boots, boot pots early on, rush Rylize, upgrade his boots. Then you are fucked, basically, as Singed, because you cannot escape him at all. But yeah, this is going to be a three out of four Vladimir this game. Um, he actually picked Vladimir before me, so. <laughs> oh no, no, no! That was that was a game I just played. Actually, this is a different one. Oh, yeah. I think, no, this is a 3 out of 4 Vladimir, I'm pretty sure. He doesn't start um, Amp, Tome, and Pop, but he does rush Revolver. But yeah, anyways. Uh, <laughs> there's my little essay on Vladimir right there. But, a um, couple things. First of all, change my name. Yep, I'm Chimso again now. Why? I just felt like changing it. Um, you know, Chase the Sin just cool, but, you know, my name is Chimso. So. Might as well use that. But one sec, let me just change change something here. Sorry, I had to adjust the preview window. But yeah, change my name back to Chimso. So if you guys want to stalk me on Lol King, it's Chimso now, not Chaser Singed. Um, yeah, I just felt like changing it. I'm playing other champions in Singed now. So, you know, it's not cool having Chaser Singed when you're playing Vladimir. It's a bit, <laughs> a bit awkward. But yeah, um, I'm branching out a bit. Started playing a few different champions. Obviously, I've always played Vladimir. And yes, you are watching me get caught out at level 1. I'll explain that in a second. Um, but yeah, I've been playing a lot of Vladimir recently. Very fun. I generally play in mid if I can get it. But now this. Um, play these play, Two of these players on the enemy team, I'm pretty sure, were in my game. Uh, the game before this one. So, when I hit tab and I saw that they were, you know, those players. Or when I saw it on the learning screen. I'm like, okay, yeah, they're going to be waiting for me level 1. But I didn't expect them to be waiting in that bush. That's not the bush they normally wait in. Normally they wait in the bush that you ward up top because they, they see you on the map when they play with you. And they're like, oh yeah, he goes there. But yeah, I've, I've never had anyone ever wait there before. So my goal was to just wait in that bush, ward, and just try and sneak around them. Uh, but I do get caught out level one, which is annoying. But several good things happen there. First, Ari takes charm first. Not the best thing to take on Ari. Second, Vladimir gets the kill, which means that the problem is my problem, not my team's problem. And I can deal with Vladimir. Fuck it. I don't, it doesn't matter if he has an extra kill. Now, let me tell you what the least scariest champion in the game is. <laughs> Level 1 Vladimir. Absolutely fucking useless. He cannot do shit. I literally just ignore him here and go in for a proxy. Um, if he had Ignite, maybe he would be a bit scary, but Flash Teleport Vladimir, not at all. <laughs> He's not scary. Uh, so yeah, I just go on for a proxy here. I'm, I know I'm not going to be able to get four waves this game, and I'm probably not even going to be able to get three, but my goal is to just get the 450 gold for Null Magic Mantle, because I really want Null Magic Mantle in lane against Vladimir, especially if he has an extra kill. And, uh, he got boots with that extra kill. He started Ruby Crystal and two pots. So now he has boots, which isn't good for me. <laughs> but I know I'm not going to get the Cannon Creep on the Cannon Creep wave. I don't have enough HP. I just want to get the Little Creep so that I can get 450 gold to get Null Magic Mantle. Now, now Magic Mantle, buffed, awesome, uh, costs 50 less gold, and that is incredibly significant for US Proxy Singed, because sometimes you're not going to be able to get 500 gold to get a Null Magic Mantle on your um, first back. And you're going to see here, that buff comes in 
massive handy for me here because I'm not going to be able to get all these, but I'm still going to have enough for um, Night Magic Mantle. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to wait for it because it's just really good against Vladimir early on. Especially if he starts Amp Tome, which, although it's a stupid start, it does do a lot of damage early on. So you want to try and get Night Magic Mantle against him on your first back. But yeah, this is going to be a bit of a different Vladimir game. You're not going to see me just shit stomping him the entire time because that's not going to be all of Vladimir games. Generally, those Vladimir games are when you're facing just utter retards and they just have no idea what they're doing. They're just like, oh, yeah, the Vladimir counter thing, so I'm just going to pick Vladimir. This guy's probably played Vladimir at least like once before, so he at least knows what his abilities do. Uh, so yeah, he's, I'm not going to be able to kill him in lane, also because he has that... Um, extra kill on me. But that's fine. We're going to bring this back. Uh, and you're going to see some smart play from me here. And uh, it's not going to be good, but I'm obviously going to get camped. Um, the enemy team knows who I am. And if they know who I am, and I'm on a six game win streak or seven game win streak now with Singed, um, <laughs> they're going to want to camp me. But I like it. I like doing that. That's fine. Um, the commentary I'm thinking about uploading after this one is... One where I do not get camped, and they just let me free farm. And you can see the effects. Uh, that's also a Vladimir commentary. Like I said, I've faced fucking a million Vladimirs the last couple of days. I haven't lost to one. I haven't lost one game to one of them yet. Uh, <laughs> don't pick Vladimir into me. I, I, I like Vladimir. When I see Vladimir, I'm, I'm just like, yes, a Vlad. Awesome. But there, obviously get ganked, getting camped. It's going to happen. But... Two things. One, Vladimir's being cocky, which means he thinks he's in charge here. Motherfucker, I'm on my main. I'm in charge here. I am absolutely in control of this situation, 100%. I know exactly what I'm doing. Two, I should have spotted uh, Echo on the ward there, and I shouldn't have blamed my ghost. But, you know, what are you going to do? Yasuo says, no point, Vlad would just 1v1 you. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to fight Vlad all that much. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, good luck having him 1v1 me, especially if he's not rushing Ralai's and he's going for a revolver like he will this game. But, I'm gonna have to be the, uh, assume the position of the bitch for a short time here. Uh, farming on a tower of Singed is horrible, but don't worry, it's not gonna be happening too much. I just need my ult, you know, I need to get six. Sorry, I need to get six so that I can pop ult, flip him out, run past his tower and just keep proxying. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to wait in lane a little bit until I get that. If I have to recall, that's fine. You know, make a lot of appropriate use of your B button when you're playing Singe against Vlad. Um, and Riven as well. Singe, Vlad, Singe against Vlad and Riven, you need to make use of your back button a lot. Now, there are a few ways to make surviving the laning phase against Vladimir easier. First thing is, obviously, if he uses his Q on minions, you can go in and just poison all the creeps and then quickly run back out. You probably only take his E in that case. But, you know, you can also bait out his pool, make him, because his pool costs 20% of his current HP. You saw me do it earlier then. You can bait out his pool, try and make him use it. But now he's 6 and I'm half HP. He can just burst me down with his ult. So I'm going to be careful here. I'm just trying to stay in experience range of the creeps. But here's the problem here, okay? What the fuck is this guy doing? Who here sees the problem? Okay, I'm, I'm going to try and... This is a very important thing if you want to learn how to um, how to climb. If you want to get past gold into platinum, you need to know this. What do you think this guy is doing wrong right here? Look how much HP I'm on. Why is she pushing the wave? If he if he kept the wave right there and just stood behind uh, in front of my cast creeps and just stood there and just denied me and everything, I would be fucked in this matchup. I'd have to go back and I'd probably have to TP back. But no, he's pushing in and now he's going to go for a tower dive. Hit six. Pop my ult, have just enough mana for it. So auto attack him down, his ult goes off, but Castle Creep finished, take him out. That was the highlight video uploaded yesterday, and of course, because he's being cocky, I've got to be cocky as well. Type get wrecked in chat. Sorry, bro, but uh, <laughs> just not your day. So, actually a pretty decent tower dive by him. Uh, he saw me use my fling on the minion. I didn't expect that tower dive, okay? I, I should have, but I didn't. I used my fling on the minion. Um... But I ding six straight after. He probably thought, oh, I'll send you just five. I'll go for him now. But I ding six off of those minions. So I immediately control R'd my ult to level it up really quick. Hit it. I had one mana to spare <laughs> to hit my ult. Hit my ult, which gave me magic resist to survive the damage from his um his ult. Then just started auto-attacking me down. Auto-attacking, auto-attacking, auto-attacking. And then the caster creeps finish him off. So, yeah, very, very good for me right there. Um, Could have been played better, but that was pretty damn well played. Um... If you're about to die from something and you think that you can survive it with Singe's ult, then pop your ult, you know, might as well take the chance. 
But now my ult's down, unfortunately, so I'm not going to be able to fight him uh, as soon as I get back. He has, of course, Rush Revolver, because that's what Vladimir players do against you. They're just horrible. Um, <laughs> I actually haven't had any 4 out of 4 Vladimirs. Um, they've all been 3 out of 4. They haven't been 4 out of 4 yet. So they're not quite completely new Vladimirs, but... But most of them have been 3 out of 4, so quite newbie. But yeah, guys. Uh, <laughs> if you're Vladimir against Singed, rush Rallies and start Boots. You will fucking destroy him. And don't push the wave when you're in an advantageous position, okay? Don't push away. He should he should be running right in the middle of my caster creeps right now and just QE, QE, QE. But no, he's pushing the fucking wave. What is he doing? I'm going to go for him here. He blows his pool, which is... You don't really want to blow your pool on Vladimir when you're full health, especially if the Singe is going to catch up to you anyway. Because remember, his pool costs 20% of his current HP, and at full HP, that's 20% of his max HP. So, yeah, a lot. Yeah, he should be pushing here. He should just freeze those minions there. Wait for my minions to get there. And for me to go get those creeps and poison them down, he can QE me. He can do a fuck ton of damage to me. But no, he's just pushing the wave. This is, um... I don't know. Is This this looks like someone who doesn't play top lane too often. Um, learning how to control the wave in top lane is very, very important. That's how, if you want to climb as a top laner, unless you're playing Singe and you just push all day. Um, but if you want to climb as a top laner, you have to learn the importance of wave control. You have to learn when to freeze, when you're in an advantageous position, when you're not in an advantageous position. You have to learn how to control the wave. But uh, yeah, if he's just going to keep pushing, that's fine. I'll just take the farm. Um, <laughs> he's literally just delivering the farm to me for free. He's taking the farm, uh, my farm, and then he's just delivering it to me. So, fuck it, you know, I'll take it. If he wants to play like this, why not? But remember, this is a Platinum Vladimir, so you guys in, you know, Bronze, Silver, Gold playing against Vladimirs, they are going to be much worse than this, so, you know, have fun with them. Here, I don't care about taking damage. I just want the creeps. I think Vladimir is all inning me here, so I'm like, whatever, I'll just run, but Echo comes in. Unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Tell my team that Echo's top. Much better than having him bot. Vladimir types get wrecked in chat, but, you know, come on, man. Get wrecked is resumed for exceptional circumstances, like outplaying a Vladimir as Singe during a tower dive. Uh, <laughs> that's an exceptional circumstance. Getting killed in a gank isn't, especially if you're playing Proxy Singe. That's just, like, expected. But, yeah, whatever. Got my double Dorans now. I've started going double Dorans pretty much all the time now. I don't go tier anymore. I just don't find it very good. And, oh fuck, Echo is getting fed. <laughs> you see me do the preemptive mute all here because I expect the team to start raging at me. Very good to do that. Just Enemy jungler's gotten two kills off you, then gets a double kill mid. Just mute all. Don't listen to it. Just concentrate on the game. Do You do you and let your team do them. Pop out here again. Um, I should have realized at this point that I just couldn't fight Vladimir. I keep popping out to try and fight him because that's just what I do against Vladimir's, but I can't really do it. I should have just ran past him. I uh, got those creeps, ran past him, and just kept my ult, but, you know, not too terrible. I can't fight Vladimir now. He does have an advantage on me. Without a gank, I'm not going to be able to kill him. That's the bad thing about the Vlads that rush um, Hex uh, Hextech Revolver. Uh, they, they can't kill you, but you can't kill them. Um, if they have Rylize, then you can't kill them, and they can kill you. That's why you rush Rylize on Vlad sin uh, against Singed. But if they just have Hextech, then neither of you can kill each other. So, I mean, unless you get caught out and do something stupid. But, that's unfortunate. Sitting here waiting. Uh, nobody is on the map right now, so I'm a bit worried. <laughs> it's pretty scary when you see nothing on the map. Mid lane just died, but just respawned. So, I'm actually going to wait. I'm not going to go behind the second tier tower. I'm going to come behind the uh, first tier tower here. Uh, no, sorry, between the first and second tier towers. Because if somebody respawns and then comes to me straight away, it's a lot easier to run away from here than it is behind their second tier tower. So, going to stay here instead. Just to get the creeps. Oh, hello there. Missed the goo flip, and that gets me killed here. Um, goo flips are important on Singe. You need to learn how to do them. Missed it there. Died. Uh, if I hit that, I would have probably been able to, um, you know, Echo would have been stuck in it for 1.25 seconds because I'm level 2. I probably would have been able to juke the thresh hook and just run away. Uh, but, yeah, missed a goo flip, so I died. Not too bad. Like I said, Echo is still top, so that allows my team to hopefully go for Dragon here. But 
they seem a bit preoccupied with the enemy team, so... <laughs> this is a bit of a, a sloppy fight from both teams. Uh, you're going to see in a sec. But Yasuo does come in and clean up here. He's going to chase after Ash. Ash does a nice flash to get out of the um, whirlwind there, but... Yasuo is equal down. is going to be up on her again, so he's going to be able to get onto her and kill her. And then he's just going to come in there and probably clean up a few more kills. So, yeah, Yasuo is getting fed. That's always a good sign. Uh, the Yasuo's in Platinum generally know what they're doing. <laughs> they're not like the Yasuo's in Bronze. But, uh... Yeah. Uh... Echo is getting fed. He, he's a problem. Uh, I don't like the fact that I gave him kills early on. I still... I, I, I don't... This game scared me, because I was playing so well the games before, and then I got caught out um, early on, which really sucks. But, you know, we're, we're, we're going to be fine. We're going to come back in this one. Oh, yeah. Music is uh, here to stay, guys. You seem to really like it, so... Uh, sorry if I don't put the song names on screen. What I do when I record the, uh, when I get the music is I just go onto the Monster Cat, uh, connect page, which you get if you have a, uh, Monster Cat license. Just start playing it, have a, uh, Audacity recording in the background, record for however long the commentary is, and just slap that onto the video in the audio section so I don't actually know what songs are playing right now. Uh, sometimes I'll put a couple of my favorites in there that I download, but yeah, sorry guys. If any of you know the names of the songs in the comments though, put them down there. Might as well. Now, this Vladimir is not so good, as I said, and the reason is it's because he's not pressuring me at all. He's instead opting to proxy me while I proxy him. Now, if he had just stood on his minion wave as it came in and just poked me down every time I went for it, I would be screwed. But what he does is he just stands in front of my tower and farms the minion wave, and I just stand in front of his tower and farm the minion wave. Like I said before, if he just stays with his wave, if he just stays with it, he can accomplish, he can do both. He doesn't have to do one or the other. It's like the Hextech uh, versus Rylai's thing. Yeah, Hextech, I'm not going to be able to kill him, but with Rylai's, I can't kill him either. Yes, he can still get perfect farm. And he can stop me from farming as well, if he just stays with his way. So, yeah, if, the, if, just, if he's just going to let me walk all over him like this and just get free farm, that's fine. Uh, Vlad is very, very, very good with farm, but Singed is probably the best in the game, almost. Um, <laughs> probably better than some AD carries, honestly. Singed is just phenomenal with farm, so letting Singed free farm, as you're going to see in another commentary that I will upload soon, which is going to be another Vladimir one, unfortunately. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just going to happen. You play against a lot of them. Um... As you can see, though, letting Singe free farm is going to be very bad. Um, this is very bad to let Singe free farm. And which is just letting me do. So, as Napoleon Bonaparte says, never interrupt your enemy while they're making a mistake. Just let them make it. It's fine. Just win the game. TP is up here, so I'm going to be able to come into any sort of fights that happen. I tell my team to ward mid just in case there's no minions there. If they ward mid, I can TP in. But yeah, just going to head back into fighting Vladimir here. I've given up fighting him, so I'm just going to flip him out of the way without popping ult and just run past him. Um, once I get my Rala, he just won't be able to chase me at all. But that's not a problem because, like I said, he's just sitting there. He should be following me here. Um, he shouldn't be running through my poison. He should be maneuvering to avoid it. But he should be right on top of me at the moment, fighting me. <laughs> he should not be letting me do this. He's just letting me free farm. Yes, he's getting free farm as well, but he can accomplish one while doing the other. He can stop me and free farm as well. I don't understand what he's doing. Um, if I was Vladimir, I'll just be like, I would have rushed Rala's and I would have just been on this fucking singed all day. But, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> now he's getting magic pen, which <laughs> I'm face palming right now. Vladimir is my second main, pretty much. So when I see people building him stupidly, I get really annoyed. He's got the Lucidity Boots, which is good. But here's the thing, okay? You get Magic Pen when you are up against an opponent with very little magic resistance, Vladimir, okay? So, I am Singed. I'm going to build MR against him, and I have MR per level now. He should not be getting Magic Pen. He should be going for more utility focus. He's going for Rallies. But he's getting Magic Pen. Now, if he was up against, like, an Azir mid who had zero magic resist, as I was in one game... Then build Magic Pen, because you will fucking destroy him. But, he doesn't. A little bit of a fight going on here. I run in here. I'm not going to get anything in this fight, despite blowing Ghost and all. But that's fine. Uh, team gets some kills. And uh, we're going to push this out. I notice uh, Ash pushing down bot lane, so I'm going to TP in. 
Just get her off this tower. That's fine. Now, I know I'm not going to catch Ash here. She's Ash. But I want to get the CS. And if she stops to actually attack me, she's going to die. I'm peeing her here. I'm like, come on. We, we can cut her off. We can cut her off. But my team's getting mid. So, it's all right. Like I said, I, I don't think I'm going to kill her here. I'm just, I just want to get the CS. Ugh, poor Vladimir players. I think the reason why Vlad doesn't have a very high win rate is because, much like Singe, people don't build him properly. Um, <laughs> he's easier to build than Singe, but people just don't build him properly. They build stupid shit on him. I mean, it works, but it's not optimal. You should be, um, tailoring... Vlad's, Vlad builds are very flexible. It's like Singe build. You should be tailoring it to whatever situation you're in. Got those early home guards, uh, helps out against the stomping that Vlad gives me in lane uh, because of that early kill. Got my Brawl Eyes now, which is excellent, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be going for Dead Man's Plate this game. Uh, am I? I'm fairly certain this was the game I got Dead Man's Plate. Like I said, normally I'm able to tell which commentary I'm recording uh, and whatever items. I'm able to remember the game because I'm a, oh, oh yeah, this is the game against Yasuo. This is the game against Riven. This is the game against Vlad. But like I said, I'm li I've literally had like three or four games against Vladimir Top in the last two days. So I don't remember which one is which. <laughs> it's horrible. Well, I mean, it's not horrible. Um, Vladimir is actually my preferred matchup um, as Singe Top right now. If you pick Vladimir, I'm happy. I'm like, yes. Because uh, I'm just, I know how to beat him so well. But unfortunately, uh, Thresh is going to come top and do his annoying shit, and I'm going to die. Uh, that sucks. But team is going to come around and actually going to catch out Ash here. So one for one, not terrible. But I could have uh, could have done better there. Had it watered, not died. But it's all good. This Ari is also absolute trash, by the way. She builds tier. It's horrible. Now watch, watch this. Okay, just watch, watch. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> Yasuo baits them in. Leona's waiting in the wings. Yasuo gets to win more on three of them. Sejuani ults in. Leona jumps in, and they just fucking destroy them. Beautiful, great team. This game, very well played. Um, yeah, no, nothing much to say. They, they did great this game. And they're just going to get the inhibitor, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this Ari is horrible. She got tier, as Yasuo is saying there. Like, why the fuck would you buy tier on Ari? I, I don't believe him. I, I check. I'm like, what the fuck? Tier on Ari? Uh, <laughs> what fucking builds tier on Ari? Especially against a Yasuo, man. That's horrible. Rush a fucking arm guard. Did she rush for... I, I don't think she got an arm guard. I think if she's that stupid, she wouldn't have gotten an arm guard. <laughs> Fucking tier on Ari. Beautiful. But yeah, Yasuo is just starting to run away with this game. I'm just pushing this out for lack of anything better to do right now. Team is getting chased down, but I can't really get over there in time to do anything. Taunt Vladimir with my mastery emote there. Let him know who's boss. Let him know that I fucking know this matchup better than anybody else. It's fine. I remember Johnny was saying on stream, uh, <laughs> if one for all ever comes back, what it should be is... Um, Five Singes versus five Vladimirs, and all of the Vladimirs rush uh, Hextech Revolver. Take Flash Teleport, run Hextech Revolver, will be the best. <laughs> if only. It sucks how all the Singe guys play on different servers. We can't play with each other, but... I guess there can only be one Singe per game. So it wouldn't really work out anyways. But yeah, hop, hop on Johnny's stream, because, you know, Grand Theft Dudia, twitch.tv slash Grand Theft Dudia. I'm on there a lot. He streams, like, in my time zone now, since it's in Thailand. So, I'm able to, um, I'm on his stream a lot. So, you can come talk to me as well, if you like, but... Now, Vlamir's got Leandries, which is a bit annoying, but still not an optimal build. My team's coming here, so I want to try and get him into the goo here, which I do. Get the goo flip on him here, and, I mean, that was just perfectly played, um... Wall flip, so put it against the wall, flip him into the wall, which means he's guaranteed to hit it. Um, get him in the goo, which, you know, 
Level 5 E is 2 second stun. Leona comes in, stuns him. He, he's just not going anywhere with all that extra CC. Oh, I love this fucking song. Look at your mind and add yourself. Oh, I can't sing. I like this song, but I can't sing. Sad. But yeah, I'm in plat, plat 2, 50 LP now, I'm pretty sure, so... Diamond, here we come. Now, Baron, I want to try and flip um, Echo here, but he goes over the ball. Uh, he does Zonya's though, so he's not going to be able to smite this. I'm going to go off the Thresh here, but he's just going to do his Thresh shit. And uh, I'm unfortunately not going to be able to catch him before he uh, scurries away into the base gate. Yeah, got, it, got the Baron, very good. And um, I'm just going to see what else we can do here. Nothing to worry about here. My team's coming. Now watch this. This is a good goo flip right here, okay? That was a great goo flip. I got a goo flip on him there, right on the edge. Um, <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. I know I say this every commentary, but I cannot stress it enough, especially with the fact that it's been buffed. If you want to play Singe effectively, you need to know how to goo flip, okay? Watch Magic Carp use Fly's video saying uh, the, the Singe actual champion spotlight. He's like... This ability, it, it, he's got this, you know, EQ, uh, EW combo, but it's a bitch to pull off. It is a bitch to pull off, but you need to learn how to do it. If you don't know how to do it, you are going to lose a Singed. You need to know how to do it. You will win so many games just based off of those flings. Especially now that it's been buffed to two seconds on your max rank E. So keep that in mind. That's the biggest tip I can give new Singed players. I mean, first of all, learn how to proxy. <laughs> Even if you're a lane singe, know how to proxy, because sometimes the situation calls for it. But the second is, learn how to goo flip. It's incredibly important. And Scarlet attack. Scarlet attack and goo flip. Two essential uh, singe skills that you need to learn. So, got the Baron minions here. Gonna push them up. Uh, Baron minions. If you got Baron, you want to be pushing. Get your team together and tell them we are fucking pushing this. Pop ult here just to, just to tank out the damage, but I'm going to go for uh, Ash here. <laughs> flip Thresh instead and get him into the... I do not know how I got that goo flip, but I did somehow. Uh, get him into the goo there and that gets him killed. Easy. I actually get the kill, which is nice. Uh, now Vladimir is doing his shit. I'm trying to go after Ash here, but uh, looks like I'm going to die. No, I'm going to survive. <laughs> and you're going to see some uh, Singe plays. I'm trying to recall. I got Baron, but unfortunately uh, I get interrupted by the creeps. They just spawn. So, uh, I'm just going to go for an execute here. Execute at 25 minutes. You know. All good. Not even close, baby. <laughs> I'm horrible. I mean, maybe I could have, you know, maybe Ash was going back to the inhibitor so I could have ran around and maybe recalled with the Baron buff, but, you know. Still executing's fine. No one got the kill. Not that it really matters now, since we just took out their inhibitor, second inhibitor, and the first one's now respawning, and we're going to take that out again. So, I don't think there's uh, we have any problems with giving them a few extra kills this game. It's actually pretty close on kills. Like I said, it was mostly this Echo who did a lot of uh, good this game for them, but the rest of their team just wasn't that good. Ari particularly, you know, tier. She got a tier, Yasuo says. Why would you get tier on Ari against Yasuo? I do not understand. Um, but, yeah, it's certainly a matter of time at this point. We're going to be closing out this game eventually. Uh, going to head mid, because obviously, <laughs> Echo can still be an issue. They could still, like, clutch, win a team fight, maybe, and get, you know, a dragon or a baron off of it. We actually haven't got a dragon yet. <laughs> I think they've got two dragons so far. We haven't got one. Uh, but still winning. Now, I make a mistake here. I'm like, we are strong. We can fight. Um, there's only Yasuo and Leona here. Graves is coming, but it's only Yasuo and Leona. It's uh, 3v4 at the moment. And, of course, the Ash ult comes in, so it's 5v4, basically. So, yeah. Bad idea for me to come in here. Um, I shouldn't have done it. I mean, we're, we're going to do decently in this fight, but, you know, I don't think it was... Uh, it was still not a good idea. So, should have waited for everyone else and just grouped up and finished it off, but, yeah. I was just like, yes, we're doing so good. Nah, it's a bit, uh, bit bad. Two before, not disastrous considering that we're ahead, but not good either. We're gonna get a tower for that. Let's see. 
Yeah, here, here I just heal them, you know, my bad, so I'm going in. Uh, but, you know, recognize your mistakes. If, if your team is not raging at you, um, if they're raging at you, just mute them and don't say anything. But if, if they're not raging at you, just say like, yeah, sorry about that, my bad. Because it was my bad. Um, that was a bad engage. <laughs> uh, you know, accept, accepting responsibility. But the most important thing to do when it comes to teamwork is never argue with your team if you're together. Like, if the game is lost and everyone's arguing, uh, then yeah, sure, if you feel like it, argue. It doesn't help, but you can do it, because you're probably going to lose anyway. But if your team is cohesive and, you know, your team's like, oh, you probably shouldn't have done that, Singe, and you're like, no, I'm, that was a good move, you guys should have followed up. Don't do that. Even if I think I'm 100% right, I'm just like, yeah, my bad, whatever, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> let them think that they're right, who cares? LP over arguments is uh, my opinion. That's fine by me. I'm happy to, you know, give up an argument if it means I get more LP. Pick up our first dragon there, and um, I got my TP up, so I'm going to recall here. I want to get my uh, haunting guys. I don't think I have enough money for it, so... Oh! I probably would have sold my Doran drink to get it, but there's a bit of a fight going on now. Nice Sejuani ult into Graves ult there. Uh, fortunately, Echo Shield is very strong. <laughs> Ari's jumping around like an annoying bitch. And um, I'm just going to finish off Vladimir here. Got my TP up so I can recall, come back in. And looks like we, uh, I don't believe we end it right just yet. I could be wrong. Let me check. I am the master. I have the video editing. Oh, yes, we are going to end it here. Um, so, yeah. There you go. That's another Singe vs. Vladimir game. Sorry, there's going to be uh, another one of them pretty soon. Because, like I said, this game is something that you can learn from. Um, why you don't let Singe free farm. And why you should be happy to get all this free farm of Singe. But you're going to see that pretty soon. I might upload another champion game next. I've got a lot. i got some Vlad games. i got some Karthus games. I've been playing a lot of different stuff. So I might upload them. Um, there are a couple that are good. So we'll see. But yeah. That's, uh, that's the game right there. Not too difficult. <laughs> Wasn't a very good Vladimir. Um, not absolutely abysmal, but not very good. Uh, I'm pretty sure I show you the uh, post game here. Yep, I actually show the post. I don't normally do this on non-live commentaries, but I just thought with uh, <laughs> the enemy team being that horrible, uh, I'll show it. But yeah, um, thank you all for watching, guys. Really appreciate uh, all of your subs. I was featured in a video um, from middle AFK, who put me in his uh, singe montage, couple of my clips in there. So thank you. Um, <laughs> I, I just tell them here, like, you know, you all acted like you were fucking so good when you killed me 1v1. So, you know, I, I had to be cocky back. You, just, you, ha you have to. Poor Echo, though. <laughs> he tried so hard, man, but that was a pretty bad team, especially that Ari. Um, Vladimir wasn't that good either. But, um, yeah. Stay tuned for some more Singe gameplay. I'll try to be uploading some highlights if I can. And, um, you know, uh, since I'm recording a lot of games, I have a lot of small highlights. Sometimes they're from games that won't make commentaries, but might as well upload them because they're, they're good moments. But yeah, I'm playing different champions, so you can expect some different things uh, every now and again. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll catch you all in the next video.